old cliche, you walk the walk, talk the talk. Chuck did both. Yeah. I did a flying sidekick through the front windshield of a car. In 1978, that was kind of a big deal. If he says, don't cross that line, then just don't cross that line. Because he's so precise. I did about uh, 23 movies before I wound up doing uh, the series. Walker, Texas Ranger. I thought if it could go, you know, three years, it'd really be great. Texas Ranger. They were expecting it to go over eight. CBS was very anxious to get Walker back in the saddle, as the cliche goes. Barbara said to me the other day, Walker, Texas Ranger is coming back on. I have some big fight scenes to do with some incredible uh, Korean martial artists, and the action should be pretty hot and heavy. I've been offered series before, Walker, but I really didn't want to pursue a career in a TV series. When I got the offer for the Walker series, and they sent me the synopsis of what the story, what the series would be about, I started thinking about it. I said, if I would ever decide to do a series, this is the kind of series I would like to do. I'll be dinged. Walker, Texas Ranger became an instant hit on CBS's Saturday Night lineup. Chuck played Cordell Walker, a modern-day cowboy who was as fast with his fists as he was on the draw. The Walker character is such a, a classic Western hero from when I was growing up. Classic Western and classic American hero. He is the Western, the great American hero. That's the highly distilled essence of what Chuck Norris is. He's the good guy. He's the guy that will never walk away from a threat. He's a guy who will always do the right thing at the end. Uh, there's a lot of Chuck Norris in Cordell Walker. Well, he is Cordell Walker. I mean, that's the one thing about Walker and Chuck. They're very similar human beings. Chuck and his team of Texas Rangers beat the bad guys from 1993 until 2000. In fact, CBS wanted to go another two years on the series, and I probably would have considered that except that my wife was pregnant with our twins at that particular time toward the end of the eighth season and i knew that i couldn't do a series and take care of my wife during her pregnancy so i knew it was time to uh, call an end to it texas ranger Chuck Norris, in one world, has never gone away because he's all over television, it's all over the world, and people are always fascinated. And it becomes one of those television iconic shows that everybody misses, where's Walker, what's Chuck doing? And time went by that we felt we've given enough of a pause that it would be great if Walker came back. About a year ago, we started talking about doing a Walker movie of the week, and we started trying to develop a storyline. I think we came up with a real good story and developed it into a screenplay, and here we are, shooting it. CBS was very anxious to get Walker back in the saddle, as the cliche goes. Finally. Give me one example. One. I know what my fan base is and all the fan letters that I get. It's like everybody's begging, when is Walker coming back? When is Walker coming back? And I don't care if it's children or grandparents and everybody in between. They have been begging for this for the last, since we shut down. I think they're gonna do, be really, really, really happy. We have uh, Sheree Wilson, of course, who plays Alex, is back. <laughs> it's been so great walking in. It's like old home week. And Judson Mills, who plays Gage, is back. Yeah, it's good to be back down here. It's good to be back down here. Thanks, Chuck. Clarence Gilliard, who plays Trevette, is back. It becomes your family. And for the, you know, eight and a half to nine years that we were on the show, 
we developed, and it trickles down from Chuck. Quite a family environment. And then we have two uh, new actors, uh, Janine Turner. I am the new kid on the block. My character brings in the whole crime scene investigation aspect to the show, and that's, that's new. So I'll be out there with my gloves and checking the dead bodies and doing my DNA test on the scene. Am I officially a Texas Ranger? And then Andre, uh, a young actor. A youngster on the team now. Is playing Red Harper, who's the one being arrested for uh, a couple of murders. Red Harper, how does it feel to be arrested for murder in front of all your Ranger buddies? So come in, okay? It's about an aerospace company in Dallas who's building an updated guidance mechanism for the, our military. And they finally accomplish their project, give it to the Pentagon, and one of the executives of the company makes a duplicate for Kim Jong-il in North Korea. Kim Jong-il has sent three of his top assassins to Dallas to oversee the project. And of course, that's where Walker comes in and all the action of the movie of the week gets involved. Guys, quiet, please. Come on. So don't step into the kick, be careful. And fun young action, like young kids and dirt bikes and lots of chases and stuff beyond the Koreans and the martial arts that supersede pretty much any of the fight scenes that we've had in a long time. <laughs> I expect this walker to be new. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be urban. They want to add a kind of a sophistication to the look and to, to some of the scenes. They're going to have everything that they expect from Walker. Very nice, go. A much kind of more, it's a little hipper, it's a little newer, and it's a little more, uh, more now. Walker fans are going to love this show because at the end of the day, the qualities that brought Chuck to television, that brought him to early motion pictures, is a man that you can depend on who's going to get the bad guys, who's going to stand up for what's right. And cut. The first day is always a little bit scary, but it feels like I've just uh, came right back and started shooting uh, the next day. It's, uh, it's incredible.